Now, many games boast of that total immersive experience, where you're entirely brought into the world of the game. But most of the time, we don't have much of an opportunity to interact with that world outside of trying to meet our various objectives. Well, the new game Shenmue for the Dreamcast is trying to come closer to that ideal, and we had a chance to meet its creator to find out more about it. There's a new genre of gameplay called Free. It was developed for the new Sega title Shenmue, produced and directed by Yu Suzuki. Free allows the user to interact with almost everything in the game environment. Shenmue is potentially the most revolutionary game of the year. After five years of development, it's said to be the largest and most expensive title ever developed, and is rumored to have cost between 20 and 40 million dollars to produce. Hundreds of people work to develop Shenmue's free environment. Free meaning full reactive eyes entertainment. The basic concept of free is to have a high level of freedom. Freedom in being able to walk around where you want to, being able to select what you want to play. Full reactive means things in the game will always react to your actions. We limited down movie scenes, which are non-interactive, and we wanted to have everything fully reactive. Our ultimate goal is to make a new genre of games by merging the reality of movies with the interactivity of games. In the case of Shenmue, free basically means you can interact with any object you see in the game. Like real life, if you get bored, check out the arcade for a quick game of Super Hang On. What really makes Shenmue special is the revolutionary melding of narrative storytelling and 3D gameplay. You can't label Shenmue as just an RPG or an action game. It's more of a hybrid, combining different styles and immersing the player in the game. I joined Sega in 83, and ever since have been working on arcade titles like Hang On, Outrun, and Virtua Fighters. In arcades, I have to keep the average time of gameplay to three minutes. I figured it was about time to make games that have no limit of time. Shenmue is definitely a long-form game. Your character is Ryo, searching for the man who killed his father. You take Ryo through the streets of Japan and onto Hong Kong to elicit clues from various other characters. In this free environment, there are over 1,200 detailed rooms to explore and 350 unique characters to interact with, each with their own voice and personality. Hi, my name is Mark. The level of interactivity in this game opens up new worlds of play. This high level of interactivity and realism brings up new questions of morality and advertising in games. If sponsors get too strong and try to affect gameplay, this is bad. On the other hand, money paid by the sponsors will help game developers to create new games, which is good for the user. Now, in realistic games such as Shenmue, it's only natural for there to be vending machines because they exist in real life. I think as games get more realistic, this kind of sponsorship will become much more popular. There are issues of morality in the messages that this kind of free environment can send. Most of our users are children still developing their character. The more realistic the games get, we should be trying to send messages about what love is or how to save people. We should focus more on having to teach children elements like that. Rio has his fair share of hero action. Though the high level of interactivity in a free environment lets the player drink at the neighborhood bar. In any case, this game really looks and feels like a film. The plot unfolds as you penetrate the Shenmue world. Films and games will eventually merge together. And by doing so, the level of freedom will increase. There will be a virtual reality world inside the game. In the future of games with free, there will not be just one storyline, there will be multiple storylines. You'll be able to go in any direction. It will evolve into games where you are playing around in this virtual reality world. People will be wearing head mount displays and walking around virtual reality towns. Now, the official release date for Shenmue is October of this year. And why is the wait so long? Well, remember, there's 350 characters in the game voiced by 200 Japanese voice actors. 
That's a lot of translating to do. And also, this is only the first chapter in the Shenmue story.